imagine a ruler divided up in one inch increment and then stretch it across the entire universe, a distance of some 14 billion light years. For the purpose of illustration, Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse, so right about now, we're gonna do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction guys, I wanna thank everybody out there who have been subscribing to the channel, you're really amazing and also you wanna thank the people who've been able to give us reaction videos, you're also super super amazing. And most importantly, I want to thank the brother who actually commented on the previous video that I did and he actually gave me, gave me a descriptive information about the question that I asked. I mean, that was really, really amazing. I mean, such an amazing descriptive information. I mean, informative. Thank you so much for that information. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, just go watch my previous video and go check out the comment section. You'll find out. What the guy actually uh, wrote down and uh, probably it might help you <coughs> and you can also share it out anyway thank you so much brother man and also uh, there's another brother who actually also said that he wants to see my experience on reading the Quran because I've been reading the Quran of late and he wants to see he, he wants me to share out the, my experience or rather my um, how what perspective do I look uh, do I see the Quran or something like that? Yeah, you know, so I'm gonna do that on a separate video I also want to thank him so much for uh, actually putting out that um, Question or probably comment. Thank you. Thank you so much So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video But in case you're wondering like why am I dressed up like this is because it just came out from work and I decided like let me just do a reaction video before I change and yeah, so don't be too uh, like um, probably wondering why is he dressed up like that blah 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 don't worry guys i'm just from work and i just decided to like let me just uh give you one or two videos and yeah so let's get it so today we're gonna react to amazing precision in creation amazing precision in creation and this one was suggested by a lot of people and thank you so much for giving us this reaction video so without any further ado guys let's get it Regardless of whether or not believe in God, most scientists agree that the cosmic codes appear to exist. Everything in the universe is determined by the fundamental forces of nature. The strength of those forces are characterized by numbers called fundamental constants that are so sensitive that if they change by just a little bit, the universe as we know it wouldn't be here. It seems, and we don't completely understand why, that the laws of physics, the laws of cosmology, the laws of how the universe evolved, seem to be very special. Of course they're special, everybody would expect them to be special, but they're special in a way that's unexpected. They seem to be special in the way that is just very, very conducive to our own existence. For example, if the rate of expansion of the universe right after the Big Bang had changed by one part in a quintillion, a quintillion is one with 18 zeros after it, the universe would continue to expand or collapse back on itself, and none of this would be possible. To illustrate just how small a number one part in a quintillion is, imagine all the grains of sand on this beach. In fact, imagine all the grains of sand in all the world's beaches. That number's probably somewhere around a quintillion. In this analogy, if all that sand represented the rate of expansion of the universe right after the Big Bang, how many grains of sand would I need to add or subtract to wreck the universe? Just one grain, one in a quintillion. That's how precise things had to be for us to be here. Let's say an example of gravitational constant. 
Imagine a ruler divided up in one inch increment and then stretch it across the entire universe, a distance of some 14 billion light years. For the purpose of illustration, the ruler represents the possible range for gravity. In other words, the settings for the strength of gravity could have been anywhere along the ruler, but it just happens to be situated in exactly right place so that life is possible. Now if you would change the force of gravity by moving the setting just one inch compared to the entire width of the universe, the effect on life would be catastrophic. Why is gravity so much weaker than the other forces? Well, we don't really know, but here's what we do know. If it were just even a little bit stronger, stars would burn out too quickly, they wouldn't live long enough for life to evolve. Instead of stars, instead of galaxies, we have black holes. We can't live in a black hole. I mean, you know, science fiction, maybe you can live in a black hole, but we can't. An early example comes from the great astronomer Johannes Kepler who was obsessed with understanding a different number, why the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. And he worked for decades he trying to explain this number, but he never succeeded. Why do we humans find ourselves on a planet at this particular distance instead of any of the other possibilities? And again, that's a question we can answer. Those planets which are much closer to a star like the sun would be so hot that our form of life wouldn't exist. And those planets that are much farther away from the star, well, they're so cold that again, our form of life would not take hold. So we find ourselves on a planet at this particular distance simply because it yields conditions vital to our form of life. So everything seems to be almost on a knife edge. That if you were to change the rules of physics, the laws of physics, even a little bit, the world as we know it wouldn't exist. I, I don't reject the possibility that there may have been an intelligence that in some way or another was involved in the creation of the universe. I don't reject it. Not at all. I simply ask if it is true. <laughs> These are just a few examples of the exceedingly sensitive precision which are essential for life on Earth to have emerged and to survive. Yet even these examples are sufficient to definitely reveal that the Earth and the universe could not have came to being as a result of a number of consecutive coincidences. The concept of precision that began to be implied in the 20th century is a further evidence of Almighty Allah's creation. Wow, 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 wow. Such an amazing video right there. I mean, just by the title itself, Amazing Precision in Creation, have you ever wondered how amazing just, you know, the universe is? Just, just by itself, you get it. I mean, there's so much to think about. There's so much to uh, actually look into, but the way the universe is designed, we can't, it's, it's beyond human comprehension, you get it. It's just, it's too massive for us to even be able to um, think about it, you get it. I mean, it's just such an amazing piece of artwork, you get it. And and, and, and all this thing, you, you keep on wondering for yourself, like, who created that, you get it. Who came up with such an amazing uh, universe who came up with this, such an amazing art that we live in and everything is just in perfectly um, order or something like it's just everything is just a synchrony in each and everything like these we breathe in oxygen we uh, we excrete out carbon dioxide and then the plants take in carbon dioxide and then they excrete out um, oxygen I mean look at that such an amazing um, order right there you get it i mean so for, for this video right is just trying to 
give us a glimpse of um, how amazing uh, the creation is and, and uh, with no doubt the creation is just an amazing piece of artwork that's what I can say right about now and but there are some few things that I wouldn't want to agree with when you talk about the Big Bang Theory and stuff like that I really wouldn't want to believe that how we got created is through the Big Bang Theory I don't know it just looks so kind of spooky you get it anyway but um, to be honest the video is such an amazing one and just to be told on how the universe is how gravity works how uh, we were perfectly aligned in not not close not that close to the sun and not that close to the uh, not far away from the sun. I mean, look at that. We were just perfectly aligned. We were just put at a place whereby it's just conducive for us. It's just uh, perfect for human um, human for 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 human living or for living things to just coexist together, you understand what I mean? So if you feel like I react to this video in a better way, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to go down in the comment section, tell us exactly what you feel about my reaction. What do you think about this video right here? Amazing precision in creation. What do you think? Just give me your own um, opinion of the creation. What do you think? Just give me like two words. What do you think about the creation? Do you think it's, 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 it's something that we humans can try and figure out um, what the, the, the whole universe is all about or is something that we can't even figure out. But the most important thing, just let me know what you think about the creation. Most important thing, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, uh, I want to thank the people out there who have been you know, subscribing to the channel. Right now we are 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. For 10,000 subscribers, we're heading to like 20,000 right now. We're in the road of 20,000, and I know we're gonna get there soon enough. And also, another thing to make sure to go and subscribe to our new channel, which is called Finding Jesse 2.0. We have a new video right there. Just make sure to go and subscribe and watch all our videos, and we will really, really appreciate. It. And last but not least, we're gonna see you in the next video, and peace out.